Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm doing an episode. I don't know what number it is. Also, I'm gonna cut in. If you hear farts, it's not farts. Jesse's playing with putty and he's playing with it in one of those cups that makes the fart noise. So just ignore that. It's not Jesse and they're farting. Go ahead and shut that door. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I wanted to put that out there so you didn't think that Jesse was just like standing out there making fart noises. <laughs> Anyways, hi. It's been a little while since I made a video. Uh, it's just, I, I just realized I was wearing the same shirt last week when I filmed videos, but this is a different day. Today's Sunday, May 23rd. We just got back from Walmart. I had to go get some more stove eye covers and a couple other little things. And it's hot today. Whew. It's already 80 degrees. And when we were at Walmart, it was nine something. And it was already 80 degrees. And I was like, whew, it's hot today. Anyways, I got a lot of finished objects to share with you guys. And um, a couple whips that I can share with you. One whip I can't, actually two whips I can't really show you because they're secrets. But I will um, show a little bit. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and hop in. Um, I know I showed this on I Watch You Working on Wednesday, but I can't remember if I showed it in an actual episode. So I'm going to show it. And if you've already seen it, then you've already seen it. <laughs> I got an old timey list today. I don't have my computer charged. <laughs> so my first finished object... <clears throat> is how the littlest ghost i made this for what you're working on no it wasn't that it was a national crochet holiday national holiday crochet <laughs> but it's just a little tiny ghost and i do plan on making more of these super easy quick pattern it is by who is it by tiffany horton it, um i'll link it below in the description box but i just used a little tiny bit of white red heart yarn and some little tiny bit of pink and black for the facial features and then the eyes are safety eyes very easy to make quick and just got a little bit of stuff in there. I plan on making a whole bunch of these for karate kids <laughs> this Halloween time if they have a party. Which I'm pretty sure they will because they have parties all the time. <laughs> but uh, there's that little ghost. Alright, my next uh, finished objects. I know you've seen um, the turtle one, but I made two loveys. This I did show on a Watch You Work It on Wednesday. Uh, so I got the turtle one done and the pig, Peppa Pig one done. This I used a tutorial by Zelda over at... Zelda NRJ uh yeah NRJ3 <laughs> she's a YouTube channel I'll link it below and she does a video tutorial on how to make these all lovey pieces but here's the Ninja Turtle one so it's a little stuffed animal this is like a TY baby right there just a whole doll you don't cut the head off <laughs> and you crochet around a hair tie so that you can um put it around him his, his little head because then little kids can have uh, a lovey but then they can also take this off to wash it or also just to play with the toy so that's Donatello <laughs> from the Ninja Turtles I got that one done and then I did show you this as a whip this is the Peppa Pig one so here's my Peppa and I found out something she snorts <laughs> but here's the lovey I made for that so again it's the same pattern and you just pop their heads in there and they become loveys <laughs> so it's a Peppa Pig lovey that snorts <laughs> So I got two of those done. I still have a whole bag of stuffed animals behind you that I want to slowly make up so that I have them on hand for craft shows or whatever in the future. But yeah, so that's a super easy. It's just basically, you know, it's just a granny stitch. And the beginning part's super easy. I believe you just, um, I think it's 36 single crochets that you do on the hair tie. And then you just start the granny stitch from there. And it's just cute. I love it very easy and it's a good mindless project and they're pretty popular people like them a lot so uh, my last finished objects is a stack of dishcloths and scrubbies that I made for <clears throat> Rose's charity that she's always uh, bringing awareness for wings which is a domestic violence uh, charity uh, this is made with uh, I can't remember if it's sugar and cream or peaches and cream I, can't remember. I think it's a lily sugar and cream and it's uh, psychedelic. And then the scrubby yarn is a Yarn Bee brand scrubby yarn that Rose gifted me to uh, make some cloths with. So I did just make three different size cloths. These, I didn't really use a pattern. I just chained and made a bunch of double crochets. That's all it is, just double crochets back and forth. And then the scrubbies. <clears throat> These three here are just regular. I just made a magic loop and I did... Um, eight maybe <laughs> i can't remember double crochets and then i increase and then I increase again that's all these ones are just easy circle increases 
And then the ones with handles, I made two with handles, a little one and a big one. <laughs> that, I did the exact same thing, just increased three times. And then when I got to the last part, I just, um, I chained so many to reach across. And then I single crocheted, I, I slip stitched into the other side so they were connected. And then I single crocheted back, slip stitched it to a stitch. And then single crocheted back, I did that like three times. So that's just a little handle for scrubbing. <laughs> and then the last one is just the leftover yarn bee yarn. I just made a little scrubby with it. So I used up both balls of that yarn completely. Jesse's doing something there. I can hear him and our neighbor kids running around. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to have a stack of those. I'm going to go ahead and package these up. She doesn't need them until October, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put them in an envelope. And I'm going to go ahead and weigh it and write it on there so I know how much it weighs in the future. And I'm going to go ahead and put our addresses on it. So when it gets close to October, I can just, I already know what the weight is and all that. And I can just buy the label and print it out and ship it. Because if I don't put it in a bag marked for what it is, I will forget what it is and I'll end up donating it. <laughs> because that's what I do with my finished objects that I don't sell. Is I just, I collect them up and then I donate them. <laughs> so, um, I gotta make sure I label that that's for roses charity <laughs> so that's all my finished objects this week i do have a few whips i have um two secret whips one is in my halloween bag here this is a amigurumi pattern that i'm working on myself to designing i'll show you a little bit of it it's pink <laughs> i'm using this yarn um uh, okay jesse came to get his um blocks <laughs> anyways for this yarn i'm using um it's yarn bee i bought some this other day Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek. I love Yarn Bee Yarn and I love Soft and Sleek. But I'm using the pink color, which I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called Pink Stripes. I don't think I had the ball bed. It's in my notebook where I'm writing down the pattern. But, um, yeah. So I bought some of that just to make amigurumis with and I wanted to design another pattern. So I'm working on that and I got, it's like halfway done. <laughs> so that's a secret until it comes out. But I am slowly working on it. And then my next secret pattern that, this isn't a design, this is just one I'm making for a gift. This is living in my big old the shining bag that I made and it is a gift for someone that I'm doing a Halloween swap with uh, in October <laughs> and uh, it is a graft project it's a tapestry project because I'm just carrying the yarn behind it because it's gonna be hidden <laughs> and um, I'm using fun Halloween colors for it this is some of the colors that's in it those are the three colors I'm using so far there's um, a few more colors I gotta add on but I'm slowly working on that because I have plenty of time to work on it. But I wanted to get it started now so I wouldn't procrastinate and not be able to finish it in time. But I'm about, I'm about a sixth of the way done with it. <laughs> it's going to take a while. So um, I'm just slow poking around on that. I'm just working a few rows every now and then. And uh, just so I can have it done before October. <laughs> so now I have two whips that I can show you. One is my poncho top that you guys have been seeing for a while. I am almost done with it. Actually, let me make sure I got it. Let me look at the double crochet part. Okay, so I got it. It's it's in the top form. <laughs> Throw my hair out. I'm to the point where I should close the front, but I'm not. I haven't made up my mind yet if I want to close up the front or if I want to make some sort of tie for it. I feel like it's a little big, but it's supposed to be a poncho top, so it's supposed to be a little big. And I didn't even follow the pattern. If I kept going. Um, it would have been much larger, but I don't know if I want to close up the top or into the front like a shirt or I want to leave, leave it open like a cardigan and then put some kind of tie like around under the bust or something. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> That's why I haven't finished it because I keep looking at it and I can't figure out if I want to close it in like a shirt or open it like a cardigan and I still have to do the, the last border around the whole thing. I haven't done that yet. But it's getting there. But it's kind of in a, it's like a vest now. <laughs> Let me get it facing out. <clears throat> so it's two panels. Can't hold it good. It's sewn together. I did sew it together in the back right here. I just uh, whip stitched it and it stretched out a lot. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not even worried. But it's really pretty. This is um, Mandala Baby Yarn. It's like Echo Caves or something like that. I can't remember exactly the color name. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much two full balls. I just had to take three balls and move the colors around. I still have, like, pretty much a whole cake of it just in pieces <laughs> that I will be doing the border. And if I sew it closed, I'll be using some of that to sew it closed. But I haven't figured it out yet. I don't know if that's what I want to do. 
I do like it a lot though. It's real pretty. The the two pattern repeats are real easy. There's this section that's like a V stitch and this section which is a shell. And it's just really pretty. I like it. I'm gonna finish it eventually. I just I'm still having a hard time deciding if I want it open or closed. But that is a free pattern by Make and Do Crew and I'll link it below. My last whip is a blanket. I've made this same blanket pattern a bunch of times. I give this pattern a lot to people because it's a really easy pattern and it's pretty when it's done. It is a 12 point star blanket and you can make it any size you want. <laughs> I've even used this as a lovey's um, bottom. <laughs> like right now it's kind of lovey size. And I've made a huge one for my sister because she's a grown up. And I used, I think, four or six um what are they called? They're like the pop yarns. They were selling them at Walmart for a while and then they went on clearance. And I bought a whole bunch of them. I made her one of that for Christmas. And I've made a bunch of baby blankets like this. And this is probably going to be a baby blanket or maybe a little bit bigger than a baby blanket. Because I'm using up a Karen Big Cake that was gifted in a big box of yarn. <laughs> and uh, this is what it looks like. The color is Cherry Cake. And these Karen Big Cakes have 603 yards in them. And I believe they're 100% acrylic. Yeah. And it's a number four. But uh, I just wanted to use some of that yarn that's gifted to me because I thought it was really pretty. <laughs> and so I thought, well, I'll just make this blanket because I like having baby blankets laying around for people who have babies. <laughs> and um, I thought this would be a good girl color because it's got a lot of purple and pink in it. And yeah, so I'm just going to make this as big as I can get it out of that cake. I don't, it might be bigger than a baby blanket though. I might have to be, I might have to go to like an older kid. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> so far, that's what I got. I'm not color controlling. I never do that. Hardly ever. I did it a little bit on this. But only because I wanted the colors in the same order. And one of those cakes would wound backwards. But uh, I just don't have the time for that. Like, like I don't care. And most of the time people don't care. <laughs> I've never ever had anyone who I gifted to say, oh that's really annoys me that it is like half pink, half purple. No one's ever said that. <laughs> so um, I don't care. I don't take the time to do that. <laughs> I, I would only do that if I was going to make like a special project to enter into my fair or something. Because I don't want it to be perfect. But um, this is just a blanket. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and if it's for a little kid, it's going to have, you know, like spit and probably feces and pee and all kinds of stuff on it. <laughs> so it just needs to be durable enough to use and throw in a washer and bring it back out again. <laughs> but I really like working with these Karen yarns. I really like these big cakes. I got... Some baby cakes back there, but I haven't used them yet. I was wanting to make amigurumis with those, so they're just sitting there staying pretty <laughs> until I use them. But um, also in that same box that I got from Chris, I got this big cake, and I think there's a couple um, just regular Karen cakes in there. I know there's like a green one. There was a couple. I can't remember if they're just regular or if they're baby cakes. I don't know, but they're not in there. I still haven't unpacked that box because I have nowhere to put it. I told Devin I need to get another shelf to put right here. But I just haven't done that yet. <laughs> so I just dig it out of the box and pull stuff out. That's where I got the cotton yarn for this stuff. The um, the Lily's cotton yarn. And uh, I got this cake out of there. And I pulled out something else to make something with too. But I haven't started it yet. <laughs> but it's just a fun box to dig around in. Yeah, so that's it. This is called the Rainbow Ripple Baby Blanket. But again, you can make it lovey size or ginormous. It's just the same pattern over and over again. And it is free. And it is by Celeste Young. I'll link that below. I believe it's a Ravelry download. But I'm not sure. I'll link it. <laughs> but I've had it forever. And I have a printed out version of it. Because it's a good go-to pattern. And I pretty much have it memorized. I don't really need the <laughs> the pattern anymore. Because I've made so many of them. But this does make a really cute lovey body. I made a, a deer one with this as the bottom. It was like in camouflage. And then I had a crocheted deer head on top of it. For a baby shower gift. And I made a Harry Potter themed one. It was like maroon with gold for Gryffindor. And on top of it was a golden snitch. <laughs> and uh, it's just a good little pattern. It looks cute. See? It'd be cute with like a princess head or something on it. Because it looks like a dress. <laughs> but yeah. So this is my TV project. That's how I started it. Is because I wanted something to work on while watching TV. And this is a super mindless pattern. Once you get this first few rounds going, it's just the same thing over and over and over again. <laughs> And it's really easy to do mindlessly. So, um, I think the pattern calls for H hook, but I didn't have an empty H hook in my hook bag that I had with me. So I just grabbed an eye hook. So I'm just making it with an eye hook. And that just makes it a little bit more holier, I guess. But it doesn't matter because blankets are still warm even with holes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's my blanket. I'm looking forward to watching it grow 
there's still a whole lot of yarn here <laughs> to use up. And so I think it's going to be a pretty good size little blanket. <clears throat> and I can't wait to finish it because I like, I love working on blankets. It's one thing I like making baby blankets for because they're kind of mindless. And then you can get a finished object pretty early because they're quick, you know. And then it's always good to have a stash of them on hand for when people have babies or uh, baby showers and stuff. But yeah, so that's all my finished objects and all my whips so far. <laughs> I have a lot of things I want to work on, but I've just kind of been slowing down a lot because I got a lot of sewing coming up uh, this next week. And I've also been doing a lot of house stuff, you know, just trying to get the house nice and clean and organized and going through a bunch of stuff that we don't need anymore. But, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I do want to let people know, let's see here, I got a package, I got three packages <laughs> from Deborah. It was a fabric that she was given, and then she give, gave it to me. I didn't get that, and I just haven't showed it because I already, I didn't do a video. I didn't have time to do a video, so I just already separated it out and put it where it goes. <laughs> but I did get it, and I, I appreciate it so much. And then I also got a package from a mystery person. <laughs> um, I got another package from, I believe, the same person. I think the address was the same uh in Oregon from Oregon I believe <laughs> and again they didn't leave there wasn't a note in it and there wasn't a name on the package but I did get that it was some fabric also which will be in the next shop update <laughs> the next shop update I'm hoping to do the last day of May it'll be May 31st and that's on a Monday I believe I don't have a calendar with me <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's a Monday from a week from tomorrow and it's going to be a bunch of the medium sized zipper project bags with matching notion pouches gonna be a bunch of those and there's gonna be a few little medium sized uh, like totes you know they're gonna be like little they're open bags with a snap with handles <laughs> but they're, they don't have a zipper because they're out of zippers but um with matching notion pouches also and then there's gonna be three <laughs> I think three drawstring bags with matching notion pouches just because that's how much fabric I had left to make those I cut up a ton of fabric yesterday I don't even know how many yards it was it was a lot <laughs> and I'm getting it already it's gonna be there's gonna be 20 uh 21 of the zipper project bags and there's gonna be seven of the ones with handles and then three of the drawstring bags and then each one of those is going to have a matching notion pouch <laughs> so it's a lot of bags i'm gonna be doing a lot of sewing this week but um i enjoy it it's a lot of fun and i do it in an assembly style uh, assembly line fashion so it's pretty easy it goes pretty smoothly so yeah i got i got a lot of sewing this week so i probably won't do a ton of crocheting i'll probably work on this baby blanket a lot while watching tv and stuff and uh i'll be sewing a lot <laughs> But yeah, I'm trying to get some stuff done here at the house and doing all that sewing and organizing. I've been trying to organize this room a little bit, but ugh, it's a mess behind y'all. <laughs> it's hard to keep stuff clean um, when your house is so small. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because I'm just talking. I got to go see how bad the living room looks because it sounds like Jesse's dumping blocks everywhere. And I got to get this video edited and up. And I got laundry going. <laughs> so I got a lot of stuff to do today. I'm going to relax today and tomorrow. I'm not going to start sewing until Tuesday. And uh, then hopefully I should be able to get all that sewing done before the weekend, hopefully. And then uh, the bags will go up on Monday, hopefully, <laughs> uh, the last day of May, the 31st. And it's probably going to be in the afternoon again because I know a lot of people work and go to school. So it's easier when it's in the afternoon. But um, I'll probably make a video earlier that day saying for sure when the bags are going to come out. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and clean up my mess I made. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.